Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install this TV wall bracket. We're going to be installing it on this wall here. So let's get started. So I have the uh, TV wall bracket. This is a uh, swivel unit. So it comes off the wall and it swivels. What they include in this package is the uh, lag screws an allen key and some additional other size screws depends on the back of your TV so it's the universal bracket instructions and hanging brackets so we're going to need a couple of tools I'm going to gather those now and we'll get this installed on the wall all right, I'm gonna go grab some tools. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the bottom stand from the TV. So there's four screws that remove this. That should allow this to come out now. Next, I'm gonna remove the plate that actually goes to the back of the TV. And there's two screws on the bottom here to release this plate. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take those two screws off so I can pop this plate off and I can fasten it to the TV. Like so. So, obviously that's not going to work. I have four screw holes, one here, one here, one here, one here, to attach the plate. So what I'm going to have to do is work with these bars they give us. The screws they provide are basically too long, so I'm going to have to use these spacers that they provide. And I'm going to have to put these on the back here and slide these in place. I'm using only a, a screwdriver to install this because I really don't want to do any damage to the TV. I highly recommend that you stay away from working with a power drill in this application. It's good to put a washer on these heads. Um, grabs a lot more. It's a better application. Now I'm just snugging things up right now until I get everything together. I don't want to do any heavy fastening yet until I actually have this set and ready to go. Then I'll torque everything down. And I'm putting these spacers on the back side. It shouldn't be the other way. And as soon as you feel any type of cross threading, you should stop right away. You shouldn't, you shouldn't um, keep trying to screw it in if you feel cross threading, just back it out and start over. It may take a couple of times. It's easy to cross thread. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to snug this up and start at the top or at the bottom. It's good. This is just gonna make it. Then we have the plate that has to go on. See, it always pays to do all these other things before you tighten things up. Because once you tighten them up, you're stuck. So, now you have some flexibility.
don't know why, but for these four, they made Allen keys. Yeah, Phillips would have been great all the way through, but for some reason, they went with Allen keys on these. All right, so we're ready to tighten things up. Um, square it up here. Looks good. I'm gonna tighten these up. This is the mount to the TV. Now these hooks are on heading down to the bottom. So we just hook that right on to the bracket, the wall bracket. I'm just gonna go around one more time and give it a nice little quarter turn just to make sure I'm nice and tight all the way around evenly. And then I'm gonna tighten up these here. All right, we're all set to go. Okay, I'm at my wall, I have my pencil, I have my tape measure, and this is about center. So the marks I make on this wall, you're really not gonna see because they're gonna be behind the bracket itself. So I need 49 inches. So whatever cabinet I put here, typically 34, 36 inch high cabinet, it'll be clear of the TV. So that'll be a non-issue. Okay, so I want the 40, the bottom of the bracket to the bottom of the TV was 9 inches. So I want 49 inches, which would be here. I'm actually going to do 50. 50 inches is what I'm going to go with. And 50 inches will be to the bottom of that, of the actual bracket. And a lot of these brackets, they tell you the upside. They'll have, like right here, it says up, meaning that way. Or they'll write on the bracket top on the plate somewhere. So I need that to this point here. So right under here is what I need that number. So with that number minus, so I get a minus now from the bottom to, to here, to the bottom of this, bracket, which is three and a half inches. So I gotta come back down, three and a half inches, that brings me to the bottom of the bracket. So I'm gonna come back down three and a half, okay? And I wanna find center of wall because I want my bracket to be in the center here. I don't want it to be off center. So we're gonna want it to be centered. So let me see what I got. I got 63 inches, so I need uh, 31 and a half inches gives me center. So that's here. Okay, that's my bullseye right there. This is the bottom of my bracket. Again, the TV's gonna cover a lot of this, so you're not gonna see it. I'm just gonna put a piece of blue tape as a line for me. So this is my bottom line of where I want the bracket. Now we gotta go find the studs. So let's find the studs. I'm gonna get my uh, trusty C.H. Hansen stud finder. This is the one that has those magnets in it. Phenomenal. So we have to find the stud. Oop. There we go. So here's one. And I just want to check that, make sure, yep. There's another one. Okay, so I know I got the studs here. Here's my stud. So I'm gonna make my mark here where my stud is. And this has a level in it. So I'm just gonna level that off and then hold it and then mark this right at the top. Okay. So I know my stud is right here. So 16 inches over, I should have another stud somewhere over here. So it looks like we do have a stud here. 
So I have a stud here, I have a stud here. I have the upside up. So I'm gonna mark where I want to drill my holes. So you have to find your stud. Okay. So I'm gonna want to draw this line down. I have a level here. I'm going to change my tape. Give me a longer line. Okay. Let's see how straight my eye is here. Wow, right on the money. And that tape was put on there and it's perfectly level. So I can count on my tape line that I put here is definitely level and plumb. So I know that my mark is here and I know my, so I have my two studs right here. Make my marks. Let's get it on the wall. Now they give you these oblong holes so it allows you to move the bracket back and forth. So it's a nod. You don't have any issue with that. Center. And center. So I'm going to do these two screws, these two um, lag screws first. These are my pre-drill. Okay. These lag screws have Phillips drivers on them, which makes the job a little easier. But I don't know if it's gonna pull it all the way in the way I want it. So we'll see what happens. I might have to go get a ratchet. I have my lag screw with a washer on it. I just want to get this set, take the pressure off my hands. All right, let me get a ratchet. Pull the tape off before you finish. Once you lock down the frame, it's kind of hard to get the tape off. Back it off a little bit here so I can slide it. Okay, so I'm going to now do the top two. And I'm just gonna eyeball this, because I have a pretty good eye for this. If you don't feel comfortable at eyeballing, please measure. It's save you a lot of hassles. I'm gonna use this to start. Let's see how far we go with it. Before I have a problem. And you want to make sure your black screw is going in straight. They go crooked, then they're going to split to the stud behind the wall, and you're going to have a problem. So if it starts to go crooked, grab it, straighten it out, and then start driving it again like I'm doing now. Okay. One last thing I want to do is try to get close to center as possible. Okay. All right, let's get the TV. Let's slide it on here and let's see what we got. adjust this a little bit. So how I'm going to do that is adjust it in the back with the brackets. Okay, let's see how I did. 
Bingo. Perfect now. It doesn't get better than that. Right on the money. See a little adjustment in the, in the bracket in the back, you have that play that you can fix it. So now it's level. I'm gonna tighten up the fastening screws that lock the TV to the bracket. Typically, these, all these brackets have this. It's two screws. And I'm gonna show you what those are. So you see these two screws here that are in the back? These two screws lock the TV to the bracket. So no one can pull it off. And now you also have these two adjustments in the back here too. Allow you to tilt the TV forward or backwards as you want. You can see the whole setup here. How I set this whole thing up back here. So you see the swivel. This is the mounting, okay. You can see the wall. How it's all mounted. Okay, very nicely done. I'm gonna tighten this side. So you have two latches on both sides that you lock this in place. All right, let me get the, uh, let me get the cable and let's see if it works. All right, there we go. It's working. Awesome. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. If you like what you're seeing here, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, share my videos, hit the bell for new content when we issue a new video. See you next time. Thanks for watching.